specific time frame. Now, in the new rule, this is very specific that uh, either the ex uh, either the commission should reject or accept this proposal or uh, will uh, approach for further document. So this is the this is the new provision. Additional requirement for book, book building method that is uh, the issuer or issue manager shall send invitation to the eligible investors. Previous act there was no specific. Uh, uh, list that is uh, the eligible investor. Now it is mentioned here that uh, 12 specific uh, eligible investors uh, is the list is there and they should have the uh, 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 submission of their interest to procure the uh, stocks and script of the issuer company. So both both in writing and uh, 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 in writing and through the publication at least five widely circulated uh, daily newspapers at least 10 working days before the issue. And there must be a roadshow indicating, uh, and at that time, the indicating the venue and the event also should be mentioned in the uh, red herring prospectus and the in uh, invitation. The invitation letter shall accompany a red herring prospectus containing all relevant information converting the proposed size of the issue and at least three years audited financial statement should be there. Representative from the stock exchange shall be present in the roadshow. It is mandatory that both the stock exchange should send their representative for uh, uh, in the roadshow of any issuer. After completion of the roadshow, the red uh, herring prospectus shall be finalized on the basis of comment, observation, and of the uh, eligible investor participating in the roadshow. So, in that particular uh, uh, case, the after the roadshow, the issuer should issuer should incorporate all the recommendation, suggestion of the eligible inv uh, institution investor for the uh, for finalize this uh, offer. Consent for bidding to determine the cutoff price after examination of the prospectus and relevant document, the commission, if, satis if satisfied, shall issue consent to the uh, uh, comments of bidding by the eligible investor for determining the cutoff price. This is a new issue in here that if uh, the commission is satisfied about the issue and the, all the submitted document, then they will ask for electronic bidding here and the el eligible investor will, sub, uh, will participate in the electronic bidding and after this process will have a cut off price and uh, accordingly the public issue will be done. Determination of cut off price, eligible investors shall participate in the electronic bidding process and submit their intended quantity and price. No eligible investor shall quote it more than 10% of the issue. That is, one eligible investor can quote 10% of the total issue and of the total amount offered the eligible investor and bidding shall be open 20, uh, 72 hours, continuous 72 hours the bidding process will be open. The bidder shall deposit at least 20% of the bid amount in advance. So if any issue, any eligible investor want to bid, uh, uh, take part in the bidding process, he, uh, this organization should be uh, deposit 20% of his bid amount. This is the, this is the uh, new uh, insertion of in this rule and this is very, very much uh, uh, convenient for the process. The bidder can raise their bids for once within the bidding, uh, bidding period up to 20% variation of the first bid. That is the eligible investors who submit their uh, uh, bid, they can change uh, they can revise their proposal up to 20% plus or minus. This is the, this is the uh, range uh, has been mentioned here. After completion of the bidding process, the cutoff price will be determined at nearest integer of the lowest bid price. That is, let's say there are 12 uh, institutional investor categories. Let's say uh, 10 institutional investor take part in the bidding process. So when the, when the offer size is exhausted at the price that should be cut off price and cut off price uh, is the price that will be uh, eligible for the institution investor and then for the public issue that is for the general public 10 percent should be deducted from the issue price let's say a cut off price is 40 then the for the ip process the price should be 36 so this is this is the uh, uh, protection and the uh, overall uh, in, uh, uh, interest of the retail investor as well. 
After examination the draft prospectus and relevant document, the commission, is, if satisfied, shall issue the consent for raising capital and the general public and approve the prospectus. The balance amount of the subscription shall be paid by the eligible investor prior to the opening of subscription. Let's say uh, uh, any issuer wants to uh, offer the public for their uh, script, uh, so they must have collect the remaining 80% uh, from the eligible investor, then they, they will allow to uh, offer the public first. Provided that in case of failure, deposit the remaining amount, the eligible investor who, who is, uh, have already deposited will be for forfeited. This is the rule, that is, if any issuer deposit 20%, later on he is not, it, it is not willing to take the share, then the deposited amount will be forfeit, forfeited, forfeited. That, is the, that is the new insertion. So, uh, here the distribution of me mechanism of the securities. Uh, previously, there uh, in the uh, public issue rule 2016, here is also mentioned this amount, but there is a uh, revised format there. For the fixed price method, eligible investor, that is mutual fund and others can take 10 and 40% maximum. Uh, Non-resident non Bangladesh is 10% and the others should be 40%, that is the IP on all these things. For the, for, for the book building method, the amount for the eligible investor is 60%, that is 10% for the uh, mutual funds and other is 50%. So remaining 40% will be for the uh, NRB, that is non-resident non Bangladeshi 10% and other 30% for the other, that is the initial public offer. Provided that in case, in case of the uh, under subscription in any category by up to 30% 30, 30 in initial offer, the, un uh, the sub uh, under subscribe portion securities shall be taken by the under underwriters. Further provided that, again, uh, uh, there is a another provision, in case of uh, under subscription more than 35 percent, then the uh, then the offer will be deemed cancelled and new offer will be uh, proceed on. Publication of prospectus and opening of subscription list. Upon receipt the consent of the commission, the issuer, uh, the issue of capital under this rule, the Abridged version of prospectus prepared as per Annex F. As I mentioned earlier, that there are a lot of Annex So uh, uh, the uh, prospectus is mentioned here clearly. The Annex according to Annex F, as approved by the Commission, shall be published by the issuer in national dailies, daily newspaper, in uh, two in Bangla and two in English, within the time specified in the letter of consent issued by the Commission. Commission should uh, give the uh, uh, deadline. Uh, and accordingly the issuer should uh, follow this uh, deadline. The full prospectus shall, however, be posted on website of the commission, exchange, issuer and issue manager. This is mandatory that uh, the prospectus should be uh, published in the electronic uh, uh, version in the website of uh, commission uh, and the exchanges, issuer and issue manager. The subscription of general public shall commence after 25 days of the publication of the average version of prospectus. That is, uh, after publication of the uh, average version of prospectus, 20 uh, after 25 uh, five days, the general uh, public issue will be uh, take place. Upon completion of the period of subscription for uh, securities, the issuer shall inform the commission the following matters, total number of securities of which subscription has been received and the amount received from the subscription. It should be mentioned as well, that what is the number of uh, securities applied for and what is the amount. So sufficient copies of prospectus shall be made available uh, by the issuer so that the person requesting a copy may receive one. Available copies should be, uh, should be kept for the investors. The issuer shall post the prospectus vetted by the commission in the issuer, uh, issuer website and also put the website, the commission, exchange and the issue managers. There are some limitation as well, uh, the use of prospectus. A prospectus may be issued, used uh, to offer the securities un uh, until any of the following event occur, namely, there are material changes in any of the information included in the prospectus. There is a provision that uh, firstly, uh, the red herring prospectus should be published for the in, in, uh, investor, for the institution and the retail investor. After the roadshow, the recommendation, change and suggestion should be incorporated. And if any change in the 
uh, prospectus that should be published. Any transaction or event which is material to affect or change the condition under which the public offer is being made as per the content of the prospectus and which should be otherwise been required to report it to the commission. If any major change that will affect the interest of the investors, that should be mentioned here. If any above events occurs, uh, the offer shall be stand suspended until the amendment was fully incorporated. So that is, that is the new provision, which is very applicable for contemporary issue. Lock-in period. Ordinary shares of the issuer shall be subject to lock-in from the date of issuance of prospectus of commercial operation or commercial operation, which comes later. That is uh, the uh, issue of prospectus or the commercial operation start, which will become later uh, for, the, uh, for that particular lock-in period is there. All shares held the time according to the concept of the public offer by the sponsor, directors, and shareholder, shareholders holding 5% or more shares other than alternative investment funds for three years. That is, the sponsor directors should keep their share, share until three years from the public issue. Otherwise, it will, be, uh, it will not be protect the interest of, interest of the small investor and the institution investor. All the shares allotted before two years according to the concept of the public offer, any person other than the alternative investor fund for three years. So allotted share should be uh, uh, kept for two years as well. In case of existing sponsor or directors of the issuer, transfer any share to any other person other than existing shareholder within 12 months of the sub submitting the application for the raise, uh, raise capital or initial public offer. All share held by this transferer and, the, and the, uh, within three years. That is, any director or sponsor director uh, transfer their share uh, other than the existing shareholder, this share should be also lock in period for a three years period. 20% of the share allotted to the eligible investors for three months and 25% of the share allotted uh, uh, them for six months. That is, uh, the allotted share to the in uh, institution investor should be kept also in lock in period for a certain period of time. All shares held by the alternative in, uh, investment fund should be one year. That is, uh, as you know that there is a, a specific law for the alternative uh, investment fund. They can also uh, apply for the, as a, a eligible institution investor, their, should, their sh shares should be uh, uh, held for a lock-in period of one year. Shares allot allotted within two years of according to the concept of pub public offer, any person other than these uh, one, two, three, and five should be for one, one year. That is the mention uh, uh, institutions other than these uh, in uh, allotted shares should be for a lock-in lock period of one year. Provided that ordinary shares converted from any other type of securities shall also be subject to lock-in lock period mentioned above. That is, if any convertible securities transfer into a common e equity, that should be also applicable for this lock-in period as well. The issuer shall appoint one or more issue manager registered with the Bangladesh Security Exchange Commission. The issue manager shall be entitled to fees to be responsible for issue including preparation, disclose, disclosure made in the prospectus, roadshow, use of public issue proceed by the issuer. Issue man manager has the responsibility for arranging the uh, roadshow, preparing the prospectus process, and after uh, the public issue, the utilization of the issue fund should be uh, disclosed uh, by the issue manager as well. So this is the one of the major change in the uh, new public issue rule, the fee structure. Previously, there was a different, uh, a little bit different. For the issue manager fees, 1% of the public offer or 3 million, whichever is lower. That should be the uh, issue manager fee for fixed price method. For book building method, 2% of the public offer amount or 5 million, whichever is lower. Uh, the underwriter fees also uh, has grown up. Maximum 1% or 35% of, uh, of the public offer amount, that should be the uh, uh, minimum amount. Maximum 1% on 35% of the public offer for the book building method. Application fees also uh, uh, increase in this particular uh, rule. 50% uh, 50,000 taka for the 
commission uh, for the application fee and 50% both for the public of uh, fixed price and book building. Consent fees is 40% of the public offer amount for the fixed price method and uh, the 40.4% uh, on the public offer uh, uh, the book building case as well. Fees, uh, other fees also applicable uh, like fees for fund, fees for exchange and other fees. Approval, rejection and review. On receipt of the application of the consent of public offer and issuer, the commission shall review the said application to ascertain whether it is complete or acceptable. In case of said application is incomplete, the commission shall inform the issuer in writing to remove the incompleteness within 40 working days after examining uh, the said application. That is very good for the issuer if any issuer wants to issue their uh, share into the public market, uh, have some far further query from the commission, they have a time for 40 days to uh, remove the incompleteness and further information. If the issue fails to remove the incompleteness within the stipulated time, it shall be filed as a uh, fresh issue. The previous issue will be discarded and they must have to apply as a fresh, fresh application. So the commission shall issue letter of consent subject to such condition as it may be deemed fit for specific, specify within 60 working days of receipt of the complete application. The commission will give their consent for issuing public, uh, public offer within 60 days if such application acceptable, acceptable to the commission. Com if commission think fit for uh, issue public, then they will cons give their consent within 60 days. If the application is not acceptable to the commission, it shall be issued a rejection letter uh, stating the reason of such rejection within uh, the similar 60 days time, 60 working days time. The issuer whose application has been rejected by the commission may apply for review to the commission within 60 working days of this rejection. And, and the Securities Commission is the final authority to take the uh, take care the issue, uh, the objection. Either they will review or they can reject uh, further. The Commission reserve the right to accept the reject or public issue proposal if it is own direction in the greater interest of the investor and the capital market as well. Rule 17, uh, Commission uh, decision shall be final and certain matters. There is a uh, uh, provision here that for the final uh, direction or final, any final decision, the commission is the ultimate authority who can take the uh, uh, call. They, no, nothing with, uh, withstanding anything contained in this rule. In this event, any confusion or difference of opinion, any matter whatsoever, the decision of commission should be, uh, sh uh, shall be final and binding all the concerned. Even concerned, this will be final. There are some annexer as well. I skipped this uh, annexer because I, I have already mentioned that uh, there are some annexer, annexer A, uh, uh, then annexer B, annexer C. So this should be complied according to the uh, new law. So this is all about the brief presentation on the new public issue rule 2015. So now I uh, requested the moderator to uh, proceed on the further process. Thank you. Commissioner Bangladesh Securities and Exchange Commission to comment on the presented paper. Thank you. Research question, Mr. Shakil, for their members and members. Uh, actually, this is a very complicated uh, regulation of the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, and our research person uh, very briefly uh, so gave an overview on it. Uh, a lot of intricacies since it is a new law, and uh, 
say the book building system, uh, one company recently, ECMI, uh, ECMI laboratories, yeah? but uh, this is not under this uh, regulation actually. Consent was given under previous law, and you know, book building system has uh, started in March 2009. And in 2011, after the market crash, there were some revisions. Actually, uh, consent was given under that uh, provision. And this book building system is electronically managed by exchanges uh, under the uh, say <coughs> technology uh, book building system. And uh, since uh, there are a lot of changes in the book building system, and so uh, the technology was not ready actually. Uh, today, uh, that technology has been inaugurated in the exchange jointly. And so uh, now and onwards, uh, when there will be any offer, uh, like say STS, Apollo, uh, probably Amra technology, already you have seen the, uh, that means roadshow and other things. Uh, then they will come under the building system and then uh, under this new Book building software, there will be initial offer to any given investor. You will see few new concepts added in this system, particularly red herring prospectus. Although the first person has very uh, quickly covered many things, but red herring prospectus, the demand was earlier, uh, say the prospectus was not publicly available when company uh, say submits it uh, in a draft form. But now you will find this red herring prospectus uh, in a almost 99% uh, uh, complete type of prospectus. And on that basis actually, uh, say investors uh, can be uh, informed very quickly. There are three stages, pre-issue, then issue, then post-issue. Actually, uh, pre-issue, a uh, long process. And uh, previously, a stock exchange was not uh, uh, say included in this process uh, uh, through some legal requirement or other things. Now a stock exchange is responsible uh, in many tasks, particularly managing the uh, BBS uh, technology. They can give primary recommendation, final recommendation, uh, which company will come. Uh, the limitations of this system is not mentioned by uh, our research persons. Already we have received some, uh, say, uh, type of thing, uh, particularly a company having, uh, say, startup company uh, might be in problem under this system because my startup company uh, may have losses uh, during the initial period. So under this system, no losing company, uh, say, can uh, come under this system. This is one thing. And another thing is, uh, say, uh, there is a price difference between the general public offer and uh, say offer to institution. And uh, previously there was indicative price and uh, that means that was the starting price and indicative price was determined in the road show. And then plus minus 20% of the price. Under this system, uh, that means there is no indicative price. You can uh, start from uh, any price above face value, that means since it will be integer, 11 taka is the minimum price under, uh, say, book building system. And any price can be the maximum price. But ultimately, cutoff price will be on the basis of some formula. Uh, that means, on the red herring prospectus, the company uh, will mention only the amount of capital to be raised, not the number of instruments, not the price per, uh, that means, instrument share or other thing. So, uh, ultimately, this at of price will determine the initial number of, uh, say, security. And on that basis, since there will be a price difference of 10%, so it is a difficult math, actually. Ultimately, uh, say, exchanges technology will, uh, say, uh, determine uh, what will be the number of instruments. Because this 40%, uh, 60% versus 40% under book building system, 60% to eligible institutions and 40% to general public. These are based on number of instruments, but price is different thing. So ultimately this is a, a complex math actually. And uh, exchange has developed the system. Uh, nobody needs to know, but ultimately you will find some cut of price. But uh, 
as per our initial assessment, there is a, uh, a risk that means since at least 60 percent of the amount to be subscribed under uh, this category actually, that means 60 percent initially offered to institutions. So, at least 65 percent of this amount must be subscribed by the eligible institutions, otherwise uh, it will be cancelled. So, uh, if there is any uh, say intentional target to uh, make any instrument unsuccessful, that might also happen. So, uh, there are some things. But uh, I think good building system has been now uh, matured in many respects because there are a lot of loopholes, uh, particularly in uh, 2009 regulation, later on few things addressed, but ultimately the fair price is still uh, a question. That means uh, analysis based uh, fair price is still not the cut off price because cut off price is a price where total amount to be exhausted. So, uh, higher price that person uh, will be offered again. And uh, so, uh, when this can be a, uh, that means if a book runner, that means under book building system, the person offering the price is called book runner. When a book runner will be forced to take the instruments at the price the book runner has quoted, then probably the uh, say pricing mechanism might be more fair. Then there will be no cut of price actually. Uh, otherwise, uh, why knowledge based analysis of price? So, uh, but I think uh, the expectation of the uh, commission is that means uh, through this way, the uh, to the company there will be a uh, that means fair treatment to get uh, a fair price also. That means the uh, fair value price plus premium. Uh, I will just uh, highlight few things. Uh, that means uh, uh, these public issue rules actually, uh, if it is under fixed price, then uh, I think uh, complexity is less. Uh, because if you can justify any price more than face value, then uh, it will be very easy to get consent from regulator. But uh, and other thing is, uh, red herring prospectors, when uh, say the under good building system, when they say they will be successful, that means the public offer will be done. Previously, there was a long gap, possibility of long gap. Now uh, that has been reduced, and uh, within very few days, there will be the public offer and between this time say the final prospectus will be ready and I think uh, our professionals uh, say those who are in practice they have uh, say very good opportunity now uh, to be involved in this preparation process because uh, say Mr. Shoping has mentioned lot of annexes and those are so difficult and complex complicated and uh, uh, no company willing to raise money from public 